welcome to Episode 1 of Blister Critters, here on A Pint of Cthulhu. Hi, I'm Wythe Marshall. I'm uh, the creator of the Stillfleet Studio, which is a small indie TTRPG uh, creation and publishing company. And we're making the game Blister Critters by my friend Tony Grasso, who's an amazing illustrator and game designer. And uh, we're very lucky to be back on Pint of Cthulhu playing the game. We had a great time talking the other day uh, with Matt and Soren Jay, and um, they were lovely enough to invite us on. So I'm going to be running a quick intro game, and we have as players uh, four um, Pint of Cthulhu Nears. I don't know how you refer to yourselves. <laughs> Cthulhuists. Pinters. Pinters. That's better. Um, so do we want to, um, maybe we'll start with our odd product placements and then we'll go into your critters and maybe you can introduce yourselves and your critters at that point. But, uh, first we have a word from our sponsors, uh, Soren, who is sponsoring this episode? What's the first commercial we see? Introducing Dr. Popper's corn, your new favorite cola adjacent corn flavored drink. Now with 90% less lead. Great. Uh, and I'm imagining, do we see like popcorn popping up that's kind of purple? Yeah, purple popcorn that just gets like blended into a horrible lumpy slurry. Ah, oh, great. I love a slurry. Uh, that's great. Well, look out for during the episode if your characters want to find um, Dr. Poppers, uh, then you can get back pool health or grit by consuming this. Um, dubious sounding snack uh matt what's the next commercial we see when it when we in the the short dr poppers okay so it pans on to a very seedy looking shop it's very neon lit there's uh bars on the window and you just hear a very gruff welcome to dirty harry's used toy sales we sell toys Come by them. And that's pretty much all you get. What toys? God knows. Who knows? But that's all you see. And it's just like a number flashing on the screen. That's great. I like to think the camera keeps panning and really slowly. And it's like <laughs> an awkwardly long commercial with like no content other than this. Yeah. N number flashing and the Chiron on the bottom. Uh <laughs> That's great. And the guy's trying to move to see and keep on camera. <laughs> yeah, he's like leaning. Just gunshots um, in the background. <laughs> so this would potentially be a chance to find toys that would, I guess, inspire you and you'd you'd feel better playing with the toys. What is the name of the toy shop one more time, Matt? Dirty Harry's Used Toys. Great. Great. Um, well, with that, uh, the, finally the Dirty Aries Used Toys commercial uh, cuts, and you see the Blister Critters uh, theme song, uh, as imagined by Tony Grasso, and we uh, are then zooming into a burrow, an underground network of tunnels, perhaps utilizing human-made spaces like sewers or even basements or closed shop. Uh, you tell me. We're going to go around, and each of the four of you is going to contribute at least one detail. Uh, the idea is just to create a shared sense of where do the four of you live? You're all in a pack, so you're all friends, and you're all recently coming of age. So you're critters who are uh, basically old enough to go out and do stuff in the world. So uh, who wants to jump in? Who has a detail? Like what kind of borough? Where do you live? Who's in charge? How many critters are there? What's the vibe? Is it like a little medieval feudal state? Is it like, um, you know, anarchist utopia? Uh, do you, you know what's 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 everyone up to in I your... would like to think that we are all in a sort of um hollowed out log on this outskirts of um the, the mysterious and in there we're all just friends you know we all have our own little um spaces and you know we all just get along and happy daffy a apart from um Matt, who likes to fart a lot, but... I <laughs> <laughs> that's the best you can do. Uh, I couldn't really... remember his character name. Are you trying really... to say we're happy tree friends? <laughs> that's it. Oh no, not oh. that. <laughs> <laughs> we're the I happy sounds like... here. <laughs> Knowing what classes we have, um, spoiler for viewers, I guess, I would reckon there's a lot of, like, jerry-rigged equipment and stuff in there. But like also a lot of stuff that's clearly been built and then no one's quite managed to heft it up into place. 
lots of cardboard boxes being used as scaffolding, that kind of thing. Yes, but there's one thing that managed to make it to our prized possession, and that was a pint of Capuli mug sitting on our <laughs> shelf. The brand placements were like five minutes ago, aren't they? Uh, <laughs> no, I'd like great. to think so. But, but, yeah, go ahead. So, so I'd like to think that there is like a genuine like fenced off area around this thing maybe it was in some sort of garden area at one point it's kind of secluded a bit behind hedges but yeah there's just crap left everywhere fag ends as well <laughs> yeah <laughs> so so it, it sounds like it's not like a the deep wild woods but it's like a suburban kind of environment um and it's a really big hollowed out tree that's fallen so maybe it was like a tree that's planted a long time ago by humans sort of landscape architecture choice but now it's fallen over and been hollowed out and you've made it this home and gym kind of it sounds like uh where you all work out and get along all happy sort of sounds like a smaller burrow though not like hundreds of animals could fit in here so probably like a dozen or so of you yeah and they're all scrawny nerds <laughs> to, to the last oh, a bit shifty as well uh do you have a name for your burrow do, is, do you just call it the burrow which is totally fine your animals but Hmm. Um, the log? The log. Oh, come on, have some creativity. Okay, the big log, sorry, Jay. <laughs> <laughs> the big log. Great. Um, well, it's possible that the name will evolve over time. Humans have only been gone uh, in canon about 20 years, which is long enough for your critters to maybe have been alive, probably not. But uh, basically things are evolving because animals only gained intelligence uh, in, in that time. So uh, today we find in the big log, uh, the four of you are being briefed by your burrow leader, who is a miniature red deer named Gia. And Gia has a special job for you uh, that she really needs help with because um, both the other critters are either older or younger. And like we said, there's only about a dozen of you. So the four of you are kind of it. You're the adults who can go out into the scary world and do stuff. Um, Gia summons you all, I guess, to probably outside of the big log, so you can all kind of circle up and chat conveniently. Um, and yeah, I'm imagining there's hedges, so like beyond that would be like a street in a neighborhood or something. But it, so you're in sort of an overgrown yard with hedges, um, and the one end of it is this huge hollowed out log. Um, who do we see? Let's. Uh, why don't we do like personal introductions so we know whose voice, um, and also. Like, literally, what does your character look like? What's your character's name? Uh, maybe Flower, do you want to kick it off? Uh, I think I'll go... Uh, not first, because I have a, like an introduction, but it depends on somebody else's. Okay, okay. Okay. Go for it. I'll go for it, yeah. <clears throat> so, my character is uh, Rasen. I'm a raccoon. My good little catchphrase, so I'm doing the stuff. I don't know how well this is going to pick up on the microphone. <clears throat> um, turns out the name came from a trash bin, but most of the numbers, letters have been rubbed off. So it's Rasin. Rasin? Yep, R A S I N. Trash bin, but with the letters rubbed okay. off. Love it, love it. Uh, Rasin the raccoon. Um, and what is, is Rasin like a big raccoon, small? What do you, do you have little clothes? Do you have stuff that you've accumulated? Yeah, I'd like to say he's got like a little kind of waistcoat on. He's a thinker, so not the biggest of things in the world, but quite chunky enough for a raccoon. Nice. Okay, chunky raccoon with a waistcoat. Um, and what are, what is Rassin's vibe? Does Rassin seem um, excited about being given a job, your first official adult thing you have to do for the burrow, for the big log, by your leader, the aging red deer, miniature red deer? Um, are you nervous? Rassin's very excited. All right. This is going to be a hard voice to maintain. Yeah, good luck, Matt. <laughs> yeah, I'm not even going to try that. I've got to find my voice. Who is standing next to Rassin? Who who else is here? So, uh, yeah, um, I'm Larry the Gecko. <laughs> um, yeah, so my name's Larry. Um, I uh, crawled out my uh, enclosure a few weeks ago and found myself here um so yeah um my catchphrase is damn it larry <laughs> Wait, so else is... you say it to yourself <laughs> oh, that's great yeah that's a guess i thought you know 
I'm, I'm trying to portray of like a, a, a you know um people always say this to me and you know and that's become my, my catchphrase but... that's your full legal name <laughs> damn it larry <laughs> damn it larry gecko uh and is is larry excited about having something important to do it sounds it seems pretty important geo seems yeah, pretty yeah upset, larry, larry definitely wants to go outside and play in the sun and find some exciting stuff okay um we got we got two more critters who've been summoned uh sure well i'm donnie uh, and you see a yellow and black box turtle with a kind of like chain um, sort of tool belt almost looking thing made out of a busted chain and a carbiner. I'm uh, pretty excited to get out of here, go explore the wide adventure. So much fast paced living, gotta bet I'll be suited for it. This is great. Very excited turtle, uh, Donnie. Um, great. And so so it's not so Rassin and Donnie maybe have been around for a while and Larry's sort of just arrived at the big log, so you 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 may not Larry's have it. been around for about two months. Two just, months, okay. Just jamming in the corner here and just climbing <laughs> on the walls. Just running up walls. So you may have different feelings about each other and your leader and what's about to happen next um finally there's one more critter that the camera you know pans over to yeah um you see the camera from going for each of the others and he yeah, goes back to rassin we see his fur on his right shoulder is it's i have been pushed down as you see like so we show two little claws and then, um a, like a small skeletal uh, skeletal um, scorpion, with, like black scorpion, but like, what, like basically the innards are all like yellow and discolored, and a tiny like boil on top of his head. <laughs> yes, I told him what we we need to we need to get more of the stuff, m- more of the food. Ah shit! How did you come from? Okay, ah, I'm in good conscience. Whoa, man! You're just definitely no chill to you. Mm, toasty, toasty. Has anyone else thrown that for us, or is it just both? And uh, and that is Vastin the scorpion. Is that your name? <clears throat> My name is Matthew. 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 Oh, Matthew. Okay. Matthew. She doesn't rise about this thing on my shoulder. It's all toasty. Great. So we have a Don't like it. a scorpion as well. So the four of you uh are are it. You're 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 the last hope here. Uh, as Gia very seriously. Um, blinks her big dear eyes and says, excuse me, I'm trying to talk to you about something very important and you're doing catchphrases at each other again. Uh, you have to grow up now. Damn it, Larry. You have to help your fellow burrow mate. Um, Declan, the hare, is missing. Declan is a big, scrawny hare who's a little older than you, um, has a bit of a... A problem. He he's a, a, a geographical aphasia, as he says, and often uh, gets lost. But usually he's found in the vicinity um, pretty soon after. But now he's been missing a couple of days, and one of the younger kids who looks up to Declan admitted that Declan said he was going to explore the mysterious, uh, what you might call Monument Park, down the road a bit which is a sectioned off area, not covered in woods and not a house or series of houses of humans, but a mysterious place with these weird long loops of metal and sort of circles and big tents that are kind of rotting. Uh, it is an amusement park. You're, you, the players, would know. Your critters would just think of it as some sort of weird human temple monument area. Uh, it's the colorful, but the colors have faded over time. And it is supposedly haunted, so you don't go there and look for stuff because you've been told, uh, all the the local critters have been told, that there is actually a dragon that lives there who will eat any critters who happen by. Uh, But Declan went to explore, and that was two days ago. Declan has not been seen since, and Gia is very worried uh, and wants you to go find him, get him back, come back alive. Obviously, if you find some cool stuff, get that stuff uh she asks if you have questions what are we gonna do about the dragon maybe there is no dragon 
I mean, there probably is. Otherwise, it'd be overrun with critters, but... But, but have, you, have you seen the dragon? No, uh, me? No, of course not. Hmm. Then there is no dragon. Maybe it's a bearded dragon. It could be. Make friend with him, bring her back. Always good to have more folks around. Uh, she points out that two of you are smart and two of you are fast. So maybe you can just run in and run out and just avoid, you know, the fighting part. Cut there. That's... Sounds good to me. Uh, do she does you can point us. out that... Oh, do you, do, do you have, does she have anything to give you to help you? Yes, give me the stuff. Um, there is something that might distract uh, another critter, which is considered basically a holy relic in the big log. Which they bring out uh, some younger at, at Gia's sort of hoof waving. Uh, some younger kids bring out literally kids. They're they're tiny goats. Uh, bring you uh, basically a big um, water gun full of bubble solution. So it'll shoot out like big bubbles. Oh my god! It is the holiest piece of stuff you have. It is also DR three to carry. So you need three DR. Uh, points basically your your sorry not 3dr 3sp your stuff points uh to carry it i have six the bubble blower <laughs> <laughs> is rasin taking the bubble blower is anyone else making a uh an argument well, I, for it? I ain't got room for quite that much let the um let the raccoon have it i do think he should have it because he has the only one of us uh there's opposable thumbs for that there trigger. Uh, don't even waves look like turtle nubs, <laughs> no fingers. For example. That sounds very inappropriate. Uh, Matthew just holds his claws. <laughs> and Larry just shrugs. I think every time you make a noise, like Rassin just absolutely freaks because he just forgets you're there. <laughs> when you're other side, you you show it and I. Why am I picturing the scorpion as a, like a French chef? <laughs> sure. I was thinking more like Jiminy Cricket, but sure. <laughs> That's a fucked up Jiminy Cricket. <laughs> <laughs> Not being easy on him. Well, uh, so with that, you have the bubble launcher. You vaguely know where to go. It's just down the road to the left. It's going to take you, you know, probably a couple hours. So we'll just sort of smash cut and do one encounter check. Um, but you know where you're going, and this is dawn right now, so it's, you know, the sun has risen, and you'll have the whole day to get there, get back. Um, it is more likely that beasts will be active around dawn and dusk, and other critters will be active later in the night, and um, basically in the afternoon before dusk. But in the very hot heat of the day, and in the very dead of night, sort of nothing stirs. So the phases of the day tell you uh, how likely it is you'll, you'll get into sort of random fights. Um, if you have, everyone starts with just three pieces of common stuff. So, uh, in addition to the bubble gun, which takes up three SP, if you want to make up something now, you can, or you can wait till later and say, oh, you know what? I actually had a safety pin all along. Um, the quick start lists some things, but you can also just pitch me on it and I'll tell you how much SP, uh, it costs. So basically how much room it takes up on your person. Could you give me like an idea of what things, you know, I could use? You said like a paper clip. So like what tools yep. are possible? Uh, well, for example, a sewing needle, um, it costs one SP and really is just for combat. It's, it's like a rapier, so it would add plus D4 damage. So every piece of stuff that can do damage has a bonk rating, and bonk is basically another score you roll when you roll scrap. So you add your scrap plus the bonk of the, the um, weapon to determine the damage. So it makes you a little scarier because you're, you're kind of stabbing with your little uh, sewing needle. Okay. Um, and then some things also have DR, so damage reduction, because they're more sort of shield-like or armor-like. And then some things have other effects, uh, neither of those things, but just might help you, um, you know, some weird thing like a slinky might help you uh, as like a kind of grappling hook, right? So it really depends what it is. I'll take a sewing needle, if that's all okay, right. Okay, so that's one SP. And remember, it's three for the big plastic uh, water gun I mean, full of bubbles. So, so well, I was going to ask, well, I was going to ask for a pencil. Because I can use that as a spear for my character, right? That yeah, size yeah, you could use a pencil. Uh, let me see a pen. So, because I'm I'm a bit unsure how big my character is as a gecko. Is it like actual gecko size? Because that could be like the size of a 
cable does. Yeah, that's a good question. We we tend to say you can be kind of however big you want as long as you're not much bigger than a foot. So you could be cartoonishly large uh, if you're an insect or much, much smaller if you're like a cow but, who's only a foot, foot long. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Only foot big. So yeah, that's right. Because then a pencil for me, I'd be like a sort of like, a, yeah, as I said, a spear. That would work. Yeah, yeah. So I think that would make sense. Um, sorry, I'm just looking up uh, stats. Uh, you could just write it down that it would be, I think, 2 SP for a pencil. Cool. And it'll do at least as a spear. Uh, we'll say D6 plus 1 bonk. Okay, sorry. SP, you said a 3. It's, it's 2 for a pencil. 2. Um, it's 3 bonk. for the big big gun. Um, bonk for that one as well? Uh, yeah, it's D6 plus 1. So it'll add D6 plus 1 when you, when you stab someone with it. I do have a bit of a question regarding items. Mm -hmm. The Carbiner does... 12 damage, right? D12, sorry. Uh, yeah, that, that's imagined as like a big, um, just like lots of keys on a carabiner, and it's used as like a, I don't know, like a, a really heavy like flail, essentially. Yeah. Carabiner is only 3 to carry. It does a D12 damage and has a stun effect. The hammer's 5 to carry and does D12 damage with no stun effect? Uh, yeah, these all are subject to change uh, because yeah, you're figured. working with the quick start and the draft book, which are uh, we were, we're so basically everything about the game is done other than this list of 200 stuff. Fair enough. And Tony is oh, drawing, wow. so he's drawing like hundreds of critters and then 200 individual items in his distinct style, and then it's all going to be on a poster. So it's in the book. It's a couple page long table, or actually it's probably going to be four spreads or something. But it's also going to be a fold out big big old I don't know I can't remember a two a three you know poster. That's going on my wall. With all the information. Yeah, I was gonna say I won't. <laughs> so that's in the that's in the box. Back so, the um, yeah, back the Kickstarter. Yeah, back the Kickstarter. So, uh, unfortunately, yeah, we don't. We basically, we're we're still debating all this stuff because we realized in coming up with a list. Oh yeah, this. It, you know what is quote unquote overpowered or underpowered? I mean, to some degree, it doesn't really matter. But obviously, we want it to have some internal logic for a game so it's not yeah. too confusing but yeah just go with whatever it says now yeah That's, i'm grabbing the carabiner yeah. uh chain and a marble then okay um so any other so basically before you leave does anyone have any questions things you'd like to do um goodbyes do you all know uh the missing hair declan who's kind of not quite right in the head sort of weird middle-aged guy who basically hangs out with younger critters and just gets into trouble that sounds dodge. That sounds missing. <laughs> not in a, not in a, that kind of way. Just this, like a, he's like a screw up. He's a screw up, not useful critter. I like to think, just you know, I got there only two months ago. I would have gone around, said hello to everybody, make sure I knew everybody. So yeah, I think I, 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 I know this guy, uh, kind of. You can tell. <laughs> only got had to go. Sit, had to go find him about seven times this week. Make the safe. <laughs> he's doing good for once. It. So, um, it sounds like you all have a friendly relationship with Declan. You don't like hate the guy. We're not going to murder him. No. Okay, okay. Russell knows him, but Russell never spoke to him. Yeah. He's the only one who didn't kick me. The scorpion is going to murder him, though. Uh, oh. Well, Gia is kind of like a mother to all of you, but especially to Declan, um, who, you know, was one of the first uh, critters in this borough. And so she really, it's kind of like the oldest uh, son. Um, who needs the most help, you know, has gone missing. So she, she's very um, broken up and worried. Even though it's only been a couple days, he's probably fine. But because the kids say that he went toward the dragon's lair, he was, he was dead set on ex uh, exploring, getting some useful stuff from the dragon's horde. Um, you're a little worried. So she's giving you permission. She's actually begging you to go to the Monument Park and check it out. And hopefully it won't be as bad as the legends say. Uh, with that... Should we cut to the on-the-road montage? Excellent. Uh, could someone roll a d6, and we will see what happens on the road. Rolling a d6 with a number of four. Four. Okay, great. Um, we'll say that there is no hostile encounter, uh, and instead maybe you see some passing... Um, garden snakes little green snakes who like perk up uh maybe they're coming out of a hedge um just to sort of watch you pass and they ask where you're going uh and they are not from around here they're just passing down the road uh but you know on the side of the road carefully through hedges and whatnot okay um, so larry is gonna 
you know, talk to these things, go, oh, yeah, no, we're just um, on the road to the amusement, no, to the uh, metal temple down the road, and the dragon guy, do you know anything about the dragons there? Uh, why don't you roll a, let's we'll make these relatively smart snakes. You want to roll a d8, and if you get a 6, 7, or 8, then one of these, the, they're, they're a brother and sister a pair of aging garden snakes. Uh, just one d8, so yeah. Okay, that's, that's a 2. No, sorry, I can't help you. Um, big metal. What was that thing? They, they've they've never seen it, never heard of it. They've never. They just have not actually looked up that high no, in a while. Okay. There, there's a dragon. Did you have seen a dragon? Do, do you know what a dragon is? Because I don't actually know what a dragon is. It's a hell of a creature. Well, it's like a big snake. You're like a sort of wide snake, and a dragon's a very long snake. I'm not a snake. I'm a raccoon. It, Sounds like a snake to me. They, they sort of look at each other. She nods. Hmm, definitely. That was us, huh? <laughs> I mean, we're all snakes of some sort or another. Clippy snake. Um, sort of checkerboard snake. Points at uh, Dan, Donnie. Uh, anyway, uh, have a pleasant day. Good luck hunting bugs or whatever your type of snake eats. Uh, we'll be on, on our way then. Uh, unless you wanted to trade stuff we are lugging around some useful bits and um the female snake is a little larger has a tube sock tied to her tail full of stuff what stuff you got uh what do you need she she asks a little suspiciously what you got do you need stuff i don't know uh she mostly has candy she has <gasps> an assortment of wrapped candy which oh. is sort of high value Kind of random flavors. Hmm. How does trading work then? Uh, make him an offer. If you essentially, what do you have on you? I mean, you got your needle. Trade your needle. I got last. I never got any. My needle. You don't have my needle. My needle. Anyone else got stuff? I forgot to grab anything. <laughs> I kind of want to keep my pencil. It's been very handy to me over these times. Hmm. Never mind them. Um, well, she points out that if you're not sure, <coughs> excuse me, but you might want something later, then perhaps they could wait at the edge of the Metal Monument Park and, uh, you know, travel with you and just, uh, just to sort of see the sights since they're, they're really just, um, they decided to leave the area they were, uh, too many, too many dangers. They, they sort of allude to a tragedy, uh, and then look at each other knowingly and, and move on. They burnt the it was them. They burnt the orphanage down. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, nothing we did. Um, yeah, no, there's just a lot of dangerous people out. But you seem nice, so if you want to, um, if you want, and you might use candy later, and you have something to trade for, we have too much candy, and we're getting old. We don't metabolize candy that well. We're snakes. We eat bugs. So um, can we offer you to the dragon? Yeah, if you so get something from a dragon. A, big snake sure that would probably be more something of, of interest to us uh we'll come with you to the edge of where you're going and then we'll just sort of um have tea and they they just you know they're gonna eat bugs basically and wait for you uh awesome well okay let's carry on down the road uh what are these snakes names do you have any ideas or should i randomly generate them <laughs> jack and jill jack and jill. Like jack and jill yeah <laughs> okay jack and jill the snaky traders Right, right. Jack Snake, Jill Snake, both both day traders, as they call it. Uh, since they are, move are around the bugs they're eating like sentient, like our scorpion is, and they're just crying out <laughs> in agony. So in the game, there are pests, and pests are generally treated. A, I, I I run it as a colony of pests is like one critter, but an individual pest is just like a okay. part of a critter. But yes, uh, it while gruesome, I think it is funny if they keep finding ants, and each ant is like. Oh, <laughs> and they get eaten. Uh, but there's thousands of ants in a, yeah. Um, help me! Help me! <laughs> yeah. I think. Oh, what's that model? Oh, hang on. I think they say like um, propaganda. Actually, as they go down there, they're saying you know their their slogan. <laughs> the communists singing the singing their anthem. Uh. So you make it down to the... So basically, you're now at the amusement park. So you you know, wherever this is, and you guys tell me if you have a specific place in mind. Otherwise, it's just generic. I think the first thing we're going to see 
in these really weird alleyways, the queuing corridors to get into the entrance. Sure. So for yeah. us, it'll be alleyways, won't they? Like a maze. Oh, yeah, so. yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, so wherever you are in human scale geography, you go down the road a bit, and for the critters, it takes one face. It takes several hours. You get there, and you're at the amusement park. Off to your left is the amusement park, and off to the right is the basically large car park. It's, you know, just this desert of asphalt with cars, maybe some parked normally and some are sort of jackknifed as if left in a hurry during the poof, the end of humanity. Who knows? But yes, to your left is, as you say, first are the, the stalls to enter. Um, so it would look like this weird kind of gate situation, um, very different from a hedge or from a human house. You've, you've probably seen and maybe entered human houses. This is quite different. Um, so what else do we see? Um, I'm going to say that this is a place called Yankee Land, and it is terrifyingly over-the-top Americana themed. But uh, you tell me some of the things in it. I have some ideas, but does anyone want to add visible details like yeah. from the road? So the first I imagine thing that, is... that... Say, I imagine that every single one of like the ticket booths has a giant cowboy hat on it, and like the cat, <laughs> like the giant cow horns as well. Yes, yes. Everything's printed in uh, stars and stripes. Everything. <laughs> Frederick creatures. There's a large American flag uh, strung up uh, above the entrance to the amusement park, but it has just like slightly too little stars and slightly too many stripes. <laughs> it's off brand. <laughs> Great. I love a hand painted sign gone wrong. Um, Wobbly. <laughs> uh, great. So you see the booths. There's, we'll say there's um, maybe like six of them in a row. So it, it seemed like it was a pretty big place, or at least it. it the, the the front of it was big maybe the actual park isn't that large but it sort of projected this vision of grandeur uh so each of the booths is sort of narrow and has this big um cheaply made plastic um uh you know texan 10 gallon hat with the the steer horns on top uh you can just walk in you don't need to worry about any of the machines or anything you're small um we will at this point uh be doing some rolling so if you're trying to sneak you can roll scurry to be sneaky you get a six or higher you're just sneaking um, which makes it much harder for beasts or other critters to detect you you can also as a free action you can roll instinct to look around and perceive so sort of the same thing on a six or higher if there's something kind of hidden you'd find it um, you can also roll noggin which is uh, only used in relation to stuff. So you can say, I'm interested in kind of how humans made the things here, or I'm looking for a specific item that would be left behind, etc. cetera. Um, and that is, uh, you know, the, the better the result, the, the more stuff or the, the different kinds of stuff you can find. I'd like to point out, I just rolled instinct and I got a one. <laughs> Great. Oh, okay. Yeah. okay. Well, I was going to actually, funny enough, do the exact same. I was going to roll instinct as well. Um, well, let's okay. just go down the list. So Matt yeah. rolled instinct, got a one. Is anyone want to roll anything else of the of those rolls? Um, uh, Flower, you or use a power. I did. What did I do now? Um, Three. Yeah. Oh, I rolled. I'm not, oh, what was it? The noggin. I want to roll noggin to look for anything that seems like it would be shiny or valuable. Okay. To trade for the snakes for whether it's original. I'm again doing instinct. Okay. Jay got ten. I've oh, got six. six. Matt I've cannot eight. I looked at D10. Bloody hell, you guys did well. So, so Jay, you got a six on Noggin? Mm-hmm. And Flower, what did, what did, um, what is, uh, sorry, what is your So take? I got a um, eight for my instinct. Cartman, yeah. your name is not Flower. <laughs> I got three on Noggin. Oh, three on, on Noggin, and then eight. Okay, great. So, sorry, just sorry. writing these down so I don't forget. Um... Sorry, Flower, one more time. What'd you roll? Sorry, I, I um, missed it. Uh, D6, I got a three. Oh, on, on to find stuff. Okay, great. Yeah. So you fi so basically, you find something common. So what what stuff, um, random, not particularly useful um, stuff, would be at this amusement park that you find one thing of here? Uh, like an ice lolly stick. Like, it's been used and just food to the floor. Like a popsicle nice. stick. So it's it's like maybe now on the ground, <laughs> some ants have gotten to it. It's like partially there, yeah. Uh, but yeah, okay. We'll say that that's a common item. So if you want to take, you can eat it or take it with you or just leave it. It's fine. Oh, um, take it with me. 
but that will be essentially lower quality food, right? Because it's like kind of half eaten by other things. Um, Jay, you got a six or higher, so um, same question. I mean, you're 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 finding essentially uncommon stuff, but what is it that that you discover? I think maybe one of those arcade tokens that are made to look like coins were actually just plastic. Right, right. Uh, okay, if you want to take that, so um, I'll leave it up to you by, by size. Either it's one SP because it's pretty small and it was plus one DR if you use it as a buckler, like a small shield. Or if it's larger, you could have um, two DR, but it has to be two SP because it's kind of awkward to like. I'll take the uh, small arcade token. Okay, so um, you get this this plastic shield, um, and then um, so Cartman on a successful instinct check. Uh, I think you learn a few different things. You can hear, um, there's definitely animal sounds. There's animals scurrying around, making noises of some kind dead ahead. And dead ahead, you can kind of see as you're going through the gates quietly, that in the center is a big tent, a big pavilion that's now sort of shredded and deflated. But at one point, it looked like a big hamburger, like a big multi-patty hamburger with a sesame bun. Uh, and it is now kind of shredded. Um, and there's definitely animals inside there. Beyond that is this huge metal structure, this metal loop-de-loop. -loop. You wouldn't know what to call it. We, the players, know it would be a roller coaster. Um, and that's really kind of fallen apart. It looks like dangerously rusted, like some maintenance was not done, and there's like metal slats and things falling off. So it's missing like a bit of the loop-de-loop the loop at the very middle of the top. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like a real bad place to not have track. That's it. The worst place to not yeah. have track. Um, and that area seems quiet. It's like beyond the 10 is quiet. Because uh, you got a good result, right? You got an 8 or something? An 8, yeah. 8, okay. And then uh, to either side, there's smaller games and whatnot, which I would want you guys to basically make up. I will say the ideas I had is one is a it's a pinwheel ride that just spins around, but it's like pizza slices. Um, and so maybe the seats look like they're made out of sloshing cheese. Like sloshing and we've got to have a uh, merry-go-round as well. We've got to have the classic merry-go-round. Got to have a classic merry-go-round. What about um, a waltzer? Because it's Americana, it's literally like um, revolver. Okay, uh, <laughs> <laughs> a bit that holds the bullets, like that. it's just like revolver bits. That would be yeah. pretty fun. I do hate the waltzers for that. I do, I'd go on those. How about a carousel, but it's all... And they make me so very sick. And I do not enjoy this scream if you want to go faster. I do not want to go faster. <laughs> the screaming is unrelated. <laughs> Or well, if there's uh, a uh, carousel with like all the animals you sit on are just like over exaggerated bald eagles and such. Yes, <laughs> yes, bears. that's a bear and a um, bald eagle. Yeah. I oh, I think a mountain lion. That's American. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I think it's a merry-go-round with a mountain lion, a grizzly bear, a bald eagle. But all of them, for some reason, have really muscular right arms giving a thumbs up. <laughs> yeah. And you actually like sit in the crook. It's like a very weird, like it's sort of a Fast and the Furious vibe, like. Uh, critter it's almost it does look like a temple to you like these are gods but like very unrealistic yeah. uh that's, and then that's definitely where i'm going because that you know the animals just you know draw me like oh i want to see that right. <laughs> that's, that's something i've not seen before the, the carousel powerful ancestors <laughs> the carousel bald eagle has a cape on that was clearly supposed to be the american flag but instead it ended up the puerto rican one. <laughs> oh yes yes <laughs> i love that um, and then I'll say way off to the other side, so sort of a bit detached, is the um, hot dog gondola drop, which is the tallest structure. So it's this very tall, thin structure where you get in, there's two hot do sort of hot dog gondolas, and, the, and they would, you know, the cantilever, and one goes up, the other goes down, and one is at the top, one is at the bottom, and it was meant to just drop as fast as, as possible without, you know, hurting you. Um, and so that is kind of the layout. So everything is con is defined by, like, the roller coaster, the hot dog gondola drop, and in the middle is the burger pavilion, and um I, we'll say the carousel is off toward the roller coaster a bit away from the, the pavilion uh so do you all head toward the pavilion or the carousel of the gods or do you want to so you know there's critters yes. dead ahead we must worship yes. my okay. um instincts cry out but i need to see this carousel this this circular the um this circular temple of our, of our ancestors that's it that's what we gotta say it <laughs> excellent uh is anyone sneaking or are you just kind of walking out in the middle of the day yeah, just... yeah. There's supposed to be sure. a dragon, so yeah, sneak. What we sneaky, need to sneaky. Run? <laughs> <Come> <laughs> <off the ground. clears throat> 
Uh, and it is now, so you move from the dawn phase, so it is the morning phase. Um, so at noon, it'll be then afternoon phase. Uh, but for now, it's um, similar, uh, not, not too bad on encounters, um, but the beasts you encounter will have, you know, uh, they're a bit stronger during the day as they go out and hunt little guys. Um, if you're rolling to sneak, then you roll scurry and you want to get a six or higher. So you can all roll. You could also, you should remember you can burn grit. So the main mechanic there is you can burn three, six, or nine grit and get a plus three, a plus six, or a plus I've got a six. <laughs> nice. So scurry. Yeah, scurry. So Rassin is sneaky. Makes sense. Four. The uh, Corbin. Oh, I love in the chat the idea of the cardboard background of Pearl Harbor. That's that's dark, but so funny. <laughs> wow. I wasn't sure if it was like something you'd want to be associated with white. Go for it. Uh, I mean, you know, people love talking about World War, World War II and not, you know, all the other wars that America's maybe not been as um, had any sort of moral standing on. Have you got the Vietnam Apache ride as well? <laughs> <laughs> So he's like, like, well, like one of the arcade bits. Instead of like a whack a mole, it's a whack a bison. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. uh, also, also very funny uh, and very dark. I think all of what you're describing are games they were working on at the end of the poof. So I think I think they were go- that was the direction America was headed in. Um, if you, you know, as we're recording in early 2024, and you look at the news. Um, but they hadn't built some of those yet, so we'll say yes to the World War II themed backdrop. But uh, <laughs> uh, all right, so Rassen is sneaky. Is anyone else sneaky? I got an eight. I got a okay. four. I got a two out of eight. <laughs> okay, I got an eight so out of eight. I got a crit, uh, I got a crit on my guy. <laughs> so it seems like Donnie and Mathy are not sneaky at all. So do you want to say you're in sort of two groups, and maybe Rassen and Larry are in the front? Doing I think recon. Donnie and um, Matthew have really like, comparatively short little legs, and you just hear like a Mr. Crab scuttling effect from Matthew and a slow plodding from Donnie. I'm just, I'm just so, uh, tapping on your shell. It's too loud. Great. Um, well, so as the, the first group, um, the recon group, approaches the carousel, um, you can see that uh, this ride is, is degraded less badly than some of the others because it's cu- the, the animals are, are plastic and are sort of protected. So the elements haven't stripped them too badly. I mean, they're, they're, the paint has worn off a little, but you can still get the idea of all the animals. The carousel is not currently on, um, but, you know, all the machinery, everything is still here. You know, the poof, this wasn't like a battle site during whatever happened to humanity. So everything is around as it was sort of when the carnival just is closed up. Um... And the um, animals are non-responsive. They don't smell like animals, okay. and they're not talking uh, to you. That's very interesting. So, um, so it's me and uh, Rashkin. Is it Rashkin? Rassin. I don't remember the name. Uh, Rassin, I think, right? Rask- Rassin. 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 I'll get them, my man. Um, so I'm going to actually go for a noggin check, because I want to actually have a little scurry around see if I can find anything. I've just, you know, in my perspective, I've just came across this, you know, temple of our ancestry, so... <laughs> sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can, Can I, I also find? roll a knock and check? Yeah, sure. Um, and you could use this both for so, for example, if you depending on how well you do, if you want to interact with the actual whole machinery, you could oh. use it that way instead of finding something. Okay, so I got a seven, but plus one is an eight. Okay, great. So you could actually find rare stuff with an eight or higher. So yeah. eight, nine, ten, eleven. You can find basically anything normal that would be here. Twelve or higher, you can just make up whatever you want. Um, but so you can find anything conceivably humans could have dropped at the end at this amusement park. Okay. So I only got a four then. I was gonna say a Nokia thirty three ten. So you can find something common, something normal that would be here. Okay, yeah. just something common. D twenty damage. Yeah. There you go. A Nokia thirty three ten. That's basically a nuke. <laughs> A Nokia thirty three ten. <laughs> Bringing it back from Union. You find it. I'm look. I'm googling this. Uh, it, if you want it, you find a Nokia. Oh yeah, you find a Nokia thirty three ten on the ground in pristine. Con- it's on the carousel and it's been protected. It's like toward the inside. Oh, uh, please tell me you're still playing the snake game on the screen. <laughs> yeah, I think it's in the packaging and there's like ba- someone bought batteries next to it, so you have like two unopened like the unopened batteries and unopened nokia 3310 
just on on the ground for some reason. <laughs> Whoever bought was operating this ride bought them. Flex's and, edition. Yeah, disappeared before even you know popping out the batteries and. Uh, so do you, if you want that, that's going to be a lot of SP to carry around, but I mean, it's, and there's no cell phone networks, but yeah, you could play snake on. <laughs> How much are we talking as SP? Um, what do we think compared to, you know, I don't know, a hammer I mean, or. The thing is, it is known as the brick phone. So it has to it be is lighter SP. than a water gun. <laughs> yeah. That's a catch. I'll say it has to be, I'll say two. Cause I've well, got a pencil with us too. I was gonna say three, uh, just to, yeah. Let's. I. I'm, I'm gonna say three. It's kind of heavy. I, I think it is sort of bricky and heavy. So that's less than like a hammer. Okay. What would I get bulk wise? That's another would good question. This be an armor thing. I think yeah. If you use it as a tower shield, it's quite good in terms of dr. Uh, but then you can't really move and attack. You're just hiding behind a thing. Um, behind a Nokia. <laughs> I'll say it's four for DR as a tower shield. So if you don't move, it gives you four DR. As Bonk, um, it's probably like uh, it's probably pretty awkward to use, but yeah, it would do a good amount of damage. So maybe a, a bit slippery, like because it's so smooth a as well. Eight. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm gonna have to drop the Sony user, but I'll go. Uh, can't your character game. No, oh, I. Um, only got a pencil, so I've got enough. What's your character's the, uh... name? Larry the Gecko. Oh. Uh, Larry, you take the sewing lid off. Thank you, my man. I'll have that. Um, also, because um, I also got this D4, so I can get a common item. Does that include food? Uh, yeah, sure. Do, is it, so, if it's something can just, I you find know, some, candy. Like, old popcorn? Yeah. <laughs> sure. Do you want to find uh, Dr. Popper's brand popcorn that we previously established prune yes. soda flavored popcorn yes i want to find some dr poppers popcorn just just lying on the ground and i was like oh what's this uh then you should write that down that can be sp1 and it'll be a consumable so when you eat it you get um you can get back pool and it'll be um it's only going to give you d2 pool but it'll give you d2 plus one since it's dr poppers brand okay so that's a consumable um and i'll get D2 plus 2? Uh, D2 least. plus 1, uh, either grit or health. Nice. So, yeah, you find something. I, I don't know, again, maybe it was just the, the position it was dropped. It never got eaten by ants or anything else. It's just been... Um... It's, it's too toxic anyway. <laughs> yeah, the it's Dr. Popper's speak. soda spray uh, c- kept the mold off. It's just the, the Dr. Popper's has made like a, a, um, a sugar film around the actual uh, kernel of the uh, corn, so it's still fun inside. Yeah, exactly. Um, and I will say, so, you know, you are in this temple of the gods. It, it seems like this is a holy site. I mean, you found a place with these weird buildings. They don't look like um, human houses. And you also um, have found animals here. But the animals are not doing anything at all. I mean, they're, they're just inert. So I don't know if your characters have feelings about it. And maybe if you signal to the other two, hey, it's safe. There's nobody here. We're not getting attacked. Um they must be petrified by the dragon. I mean, we must I was... them from the curse of the dragon. Okay, Donnie's gonna waddle on over then. Can I do a noggin check for like stuff? Sure. Okay, I have a plus one to it, so that's ten. Oh, yeah, I am you... looking for. Donnie would be looking for like a sign from these deities frozen in time. Oh, great. So you're using your very, your very successful noggin check on the actual carousel apparatus, right? Yeah, to find um, some sort of message or sign for them. Can I please find an empty raisin bro- box? Oh, sure. An empty raisin box, that's that's common. Yeah, you, you can do an empty raisin box. That's that's nothing. That's like the R1. Uh, so Donnie's going to start dragging that over excitedly. Raisin! Uh, sorry, rosin! Rosin! It's a sign! A sign from those above! <laughs> what is it? The gods have given us a sign. Can animals read? Actually, yeah, you read your name. <laughs> can. We can read. Uh, uh, yeah, you can, yeah, you can, you can learn to read. Box. I'll say, if you're a thinker, you probably have at least figured out the human alphabet to some... Or, you know, you, you live in, in England, you, you can read English, more or less. Uh, at least some words. Um... Since you got a 10, do you want to, uh, Soren, be able to... You figured out, basically, that the 
the gods are stuck on a thing that moves around mm -hmm. and, and it has like a pretty clear very easy to use um on off switch um and you could in fact turn it on okay uh so donnie's gonna go over to razin with the raisin box and say it's a sign it's a sign the gods are sleep with your brothers they call you they call for you razin you are worthy <laughs> and he's gonna lead razin over to the um controls to get his grabby little raccoon hands to manipulate them. Um, in the meantime, just um, as you know, uh, as the other two are playing with the controls, Lowry is going to be climbing on the um, on the eagle um, statuette, thinking, oh, I'm going to get a closer look at this thing. Great. So, just I want to so... see if we're being watched. <clears throat> oh, good question. Um, the, so this is all happening simultaneously. So, sorry, who's climbing on the eagle while... I'm going to climb on the eagle. Great. I do have wall climb as a gecko, the gecko sure. grip. You just climb up, you're on so. top of the eagle, this kind of eagle with uh you know have you guys seen the the meme of the eagle with the arms and the guns it's yeah. like that yeah. level stupid like an eagle with a big action hero arm um and meanwhile it sounds like is matthew looking around for danger did i hear that yeah it's like okay mm, it's a bit quiet mm. go ahead roll roll instinct and then meanwhile are uh it sounds like donnie and rassen are you hitting on on the carousel yes yes master have pardoned right. Lights flicker and blink on. Some emergency generator was never used. There's still some juice, whatever, uh, in the system. And the carousel awkwardly begins to go around. And you hear whatever you think is the most American pop song uh, from now, I don't know, 20 years ago. Party um, in the USA? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yes. yes. Oh, yeah. American woman? <laughs> sure. <laughs> Uh, it's a party in the U.S. Oh. In it, and the whole thing begins to spin. Um, Larry, please make a scurry check to not fall off the eagle. Um, I do have the um, my ability, uh, as I say, uh, wall climber through your beauty of evolution to allow you to freely climb walls. Um, yeah, climb up direct or vertical slopes. I can roll the scurry check if you don't mind. Uh, no, uh, that's fine. You're right. You, you you are a gecko. Uh, so no need for the check. So you you maybe go flying cartoonishly back, but then you're you're hanging on by your. Whoa, man! I can fly! Yeah. I can fly! Uh, and the carousel is operating. You have just attracted the attention of whatever is around. Uh, flower. What was your instinct check to sense? Eight on an eight. Great. You know that there is a large group of critters in the burger pavilion, and before the carousel came on, they did not. They were not paying attention to you. Now they are all rushing out toward you. Uh, also on an eight, you know that there's something, you can sense something moving around that's like, there's like a tremor almost coming from the roller coaster. But it doesn't, you don't really hear any critter like, it doesn't sound like a group of small animals talking or anything, but there's some kind of movement. Um, they are coming. Rushing from the pavilion, you hear the yips and yaps of what seems like a pack of wild hounds. Uh, what do you all want to do? I think we should run away, guys. Let's not deal with that stuff. No, uh... The gods will protect us. I don't know about y'all, but I don't think a tortoise outruns a dog. <laughs> <laughs> We may be in trouble there, but this the gods will protect us. Yes, you're their chosen one. So, <laughs> yeah, Donnie's gonna start praying to uh, Razin. Well, so you're, we're damn screwed today. Are damn you gonna Larry. stay on the carousel and use prayer as your kind of <laughs> strategy here? Just standing on the top of it, spinning on the top, going, Can you feel the worship? No. Wait, actually, could we, like, turn it off, then wait for the dogs to come in the path of it and turn it on again and, like, get them? What? Uh, sure, I mean, it's raised up, you know, so if they jump onto the platform and they don't know it's going to come on, they might they might get thrown off. Um, but uh, it depends on how, you know, nimble they are. Um you could also just see what happens when, because you're spinning around. I mean, maybe they'll sort of be, you know, it's it's kind of amazing to you all. And maybe it will sort of stun them. I would like to see what happens, because if they're not able to get on, can I just hold the phone now and just use it as a kind of a whack on the way through? <laughs> <laughs> sure, yeah, you want to do some sort of, each time you spin around, you attack. Uh, all right, so you all take up defensive positions, essentially, and, and there were prayer prayerful positions. <laughs> 
The uh, the Almighty will protect us today, though. <laughs> and I'm gonna attach the carbiner to the chain. Okay. Like, properly, so. So the See, end. See, I'm it. yeah. I'm gonna draw my pencil. <laughs> now I'm now a gecko with a pencil in my hand. That's it. <laughs> So you're sort of in jousting position on the yeah yeah, on the yeah jousting yeah I like that jousting so like, uh, if they're gonna if they're gonna try to jump in I can yeah so you see three mangy dogs uh, two are let's say um, you know mutts they have some some sort of Rottweiler or Doberman and one is like a um, maybe a Chihuahua Corgi like it's wiener dog mix um, it's much smaller they're running at yapping uh, and they're all basically saying in kind of um, Philip Glass you know like repeating canon they're saying like hey 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 you 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 um like what's what 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 you you doing 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 uh and they oh, are uh, very excited uh to see other critters yeah they're just they're kind of charging at you friendly uh, yeah can i step forward and go hi guys and as it goes as, it's, uh, I guess, as i go round and round i'm gonna be like hi guys I keep, I keep saying hi guys hi guys hi guys hi guys <laughs> Uh, they're jumping up and down, sort of their heads following each time you pass, saying, oh, hey, oh, hey, oh, hey, <laughs> whoa, and then they kind of get dizzy. So that's how I, yeah, I'm not going to attack, but that's how I want to talk to them, as we sort of, we're trying to talk, as we're on the, on the uh, carousel, and they're kind of like, you know, so we had the hi guys, why have you come around and seen us? Why have you come around and seen us? Like, <laughs> you probably won't do it. Uh, yeah, they, they, so they're, you're, you're having a very, a basically annoying conversation between the, t the three of them and the one of you sort of rotating. Uh, what's everyone else doing? And, and, and is everyone basically going to be yelling at them from the carousel, just, just chatting? Seems I like. think or technically Donnie didn't get onto a castle mount. He was at the controls. Oh, so I oh think right. You're in the center? Or is it in, yeah. There's oh. definitely a control at the center, but there is a box um, leading off. So sort of beneath the carousel and out, there's a line that of shielded cables, um, and there's a thing off to the side as well. So you can be either in the center, or you can be off the carousel. To the I side. think Donnie would prefer not to be in the center. I don't think a turtle's agile enough to walk through there without getting smashed. <laughs> or maybe I'm too short to beat it. Either way, uh, so he's gonna waddle on out to greet the dogs. Hey there, folks. You seen uh, any neat stuff? Any any uh, rabbit go by? A big one? Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. We totally saw a rabbit. And then they all are excited and they're like, Oh yeah, we're, we're rabbit, the rabbit. Um, De yeah, De Our friend De Deckers, Deckers, the man, Deckers. And they're jumping up and down in excitement. Um, Whilst this is going on, you can just hear in the background Rassin going past going, Worship the God. <laughs> <laughs> Where? 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 Gods? Where? Um, <laughs> where's a great question? I'd like to know where that rabbit went. They uh, they don't know where their new friend Decker, as they call him, went. Um, he came, and he was dead set on meeting the dragon. They told him not to, uh, but he went anyway, and in, down into the dragon's lair. Um. And it was, uh, they, they're they like, your friend's probably dead, basically. Um, but they're like, but hey, it's, we're, we're, we're here. We're your friends. Oh, uh, yeah, friends. And they jump up and down and probably try to hug you. Friends? You said friends? Friends, 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 friends. <laughs> we're still uh, going around and around here. I um, think probably now that Chihuahua just breaks off and is chasing the carousel, like chasing the voice of Larry just around <laughs> as the other two sort of you know, hug slash hump um, the box turtle. So it's no. a bad, like... After about five minutes of spinning, get... Rassin starts going, finish the... <laughs> 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 okay, uh, Donnie's gonna see if he can waddle back around and turn the ride off. Okay, yeah, they they sort of leap after you gingerly and watch you, um, and they're like, wow, could that do that the whole time? <laughs> Sadly, I don't feel so good. <laughs> So, yeah, no, Larry is just going to step up and go, Hey, dogs, how have you been today? Oh, we're all right. We just, um, we came to this place like a week ago. We met your mate Decker. Um, Decker probably died, sorry. And, uh, yeah, no, this thing, it turns on. Did you know that it turns on? Nope, no. Nope. Party in the USA finishes, and who let the dogs out starts playing. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you, you just turn off the, the, the spinny bit, but you see there's a control, so you leave the, the, the PA still blaring yeah. shitty music, yeah. Um, yeah, the dogs are unfazed. I mean, they would like okay, any, so, uh, literally I, any I song. 
so I want to see what sorts of the doors. I want to know if they've seen anything strange happen lately in the in the area. Um. Well. Um. Strange. They they look at each other and then they they maybe like circle. You know, they kind of reposition. One of them has paw on the other one's head. Uh, strange. Uh, well, did you know a rabbit came, a hare came by, uh, and they start describing your friend back to you oh. as though you didn't have this information. You don't say. That's 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 good to know. So, can you um, show us where the rabbit went? Yeah. Apparently, Cartman did not have this information. <laughs> <laughs> they don't know, dude. Uh, they. Ah. They do, they do stand and point with their faces. They're, like, looking, and maybe they even subtly start to growl at the roller coaster. It's a, it's, it's a spinning, by the way, sorry, Jay. I didn't get the whole conversation. Oh, I heard off my mind. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, can we uh, ride the... Give, can you give us a ride to this place? Can we ride the dogs? Uh, yeah, you want to... Make a vibe check. This is going to be a little bit of a tricky thing okay. to convince them. They're they're used to not standing still. So, I only got D six on this. Let's see what I get. Yeah, I only got two. I'm afraid. <laughs> I think the dogs are not. Uh, maybe you, they don't even understand what you're asking. It's more like if you can do it, do it. But they just move around a lot and keep kind of tossing you off. So Larry is just thrown over and over. Um, yeah, what is, so, what is Mappy up to as there's some chatting with the, the dogs? Um, I think when the whole thing was a bit, a bit too, um, what was the word? Like, friendly, I would have hid under Donny just in case they've gone, gone a bit too far. But after, uh, Larry asking about a lift, I just want to appear in one of the dog's backs without <laughs> having to ask her anything, just like nestled in. And not, uh, not a hugger. Roll scurry uh, to just be on the dog's back. Six out of Great. eight. You are on the dog's back. That dog was just it's like, oh, <laughs> what? <laughs> face that. <laughs> uh, and yeah, it goes around in circles a bit and then faces forward, sort of like, well, I, you know, resigned. Um, uh, I'm going to say their names are Hydrant, Street Sign, and The Little One. Uh, and the little one yells so much and has adopted so many names that the hydrant street sign just stopped trying to give her a name. Um, but uh, the little one finally kind of brings up the, like stops chasing the carousel, which has stopped moving and also sort of seems dizzy uh, from running in circles. Um, they ask where you want to go. Uh, well, let's just uh, the dragon. Oh, no, we're not going there. No, no, can't do it. Uh, and they start to turn around like they're going to run away from you, hauling off Mappy. Oh, so how, how about... Okay, okay well, there's one more thing I want to... There's one more thing I want to try to say. How about this, guys? How about I give you this popcorn I found if you could take me to the um, Iron Priest... Uh, iron Place of the Dragon. Um, I mean, you could just walk over there. Also, just to be clear, you don't. But but yeah, yes, they. Uh, if you want them to escort you, sure. Why don't you roll vibe uh, with advantage? Is anyone helping? So you uh, can get a plus one. I think I, I think uh, Rassin's probably still recovering. <laughs> yeah, <honestly. laughs> <It's> just. <laughs> and now I'm thinking about it. We could just actually walk to this place. We know we know where it is. I mean, is there any point actually getting the dogs to escort us there? But I mean, do you want them as like muscle? Is that the idea? Like that was kind of my thinking because if we're gonna go there, this, this could be potentially a boss fight, and having them there as a bit of backup could be quite good for our characters. But... Cannon fodder. Okay. <laughs> Didn't want to say it like that. Who is in the burger place? Or oh, the the what would you call it? Oh no, this? I know the burger place. That place, the, the vibe there was just no good, man. How does Zoo know the burger place? Because <laughs> I had the instinct when we came in. I remember the claws. He said it was um, deflated. No, well, it was. It's like a big. It's like it was this grand tent where events were held inside. But it's it's just the the elements over time have made it le look less like a blown up burger and more just kind of a burger pattern tent that is like shredded and toward the bottom. You know, it just looks like it's all kind of fallen apart. Um, but the, the dogs came from there, but they do look at each other. They're like, that's our sleeping spot. But there are other critters there. They, they say they're like, they ran out when they heard lights, but they're, they get there. There are other friends of theirs in the tent. Okay. I say we don't annoy the dogs so that their friends become our friends. 
I think so. I think we just move on and just I can keep my popcorn because that doesn't sound like a decent deal. And we'll go and check out this uh, this metal place. Yeah, let's just. Um, is anyone actually going to try and get them as muscle though? Because muscle would be a good idea. We should have some muscle. A backup. Just I think they are likely going to run off the moment they hear anything. <laughs> Judging from our conversation so far, I think if the dragon does show up, they're going to book it. I see bits of a schizo. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's a bit cowardly. Do you want to roll instinct to get a sense of like the dog? Like, what's the deal with the dogs? Yeah, go on then. Like, kind of a sense of motive. It's a D eight for me. And that's a two. <laughs> yeah, they just seem excited, dogs. I can't. I'll give it my the same. I think my instincts a bit higher, I mean, and mine's a uh, ten. So I roll instincts. Um... <laughs> <laughs> no, no, they're just dogs to me. <laughs> okay. Okay. Hmm. The concept of dog just leaves your mind. <laughs> <laughs> now a cat. Sound maker. <laughs> Uh, they they do jump up and down, at, you know, thinking about the dragon, and they say, uh, "Look, you know, we can't. Um, we don't want to go. But if you really are brave, we're not brave. We're cowardly. If you want to go, you can. But um, do you? Are you sure you want to go? It's I, we, your friend's probably probably not going to come back. Larry was the greatest rabbit I know. We must find. Not wait. You're oh, Larry. You're Larry. I yeah, think. I know. I've got to figure <laughs> this one out now. <laughs> Larry. Damn it, Larry. <laughs> well, I think we'll just mosey on over there. We'll come back with uh, your rabbit friend in a little bit, maybe, if we're lucky. Okay. And Donnie's going to start slowly making his incredibly slow turtle way over <laughs> to the roller coaster. It may take him some time. Can I we, try uh... and spy the, the, the dog that I'm sat on? I can't which one I'm sat on, but I want to inspire it to. At least, uh, that, that one to at least come with us. Okay. Do you roll vibe? This is a vibe okay. check, and uh, we'll say you're high. sitting on a uh, street sign. Hydrant is going to return with the little one to the oh, Christ. Christ. pavilion. One. <laughs> okay. Uh, you've really, really annoyed street sign, and street <laughs> sign reaches back and is going to attack you. Oh. Uh, so oh, you no. need to roll scurry to dodge. Street sign got a nine, actually. Wow, that's a really good attack uh, to hit you. Uh, scurry, scurry, scurry. Uh, and I... Oh, Christ, I don't... You can burn grit, or you could just be bit by the dog. Uh, I've got five. I don't know if I get anything with it. Uh... Is it technically a dodge check? Yes. So this is a scurry dodge check. Um, so street sign made a scrap attack check. Ah, uh, oh, it's only a seven because I get plus two. Uh, yeah. So do you want to burn grit or do you do you just take the the damage? Um, I'll burn the grit because the first time. So okay, got... so you you burn through get and then you you while uh, street sign's pretty good at biting, you're you're very fast and and you know maybe hop off, jump off, and um, yeah. <laughs> she sort of bites her own, you know, like shoulder a little and gnaws on it. Uh, you're on the ground. Street sign is not happy. About the scorpion. <laughs> um, do you all just back away and let this now angry dog sort of wander back towards its pack? Yeah, yeah, I don't want to fight a dog. Okay. Uh, all right, you are then. Uh, you know, she she sort of huffs uh, at you and and departs, and you're alone at the carousel. The music is blaring. The gods are still. Uh, Matt, do do you feel like Rasen is back with us in terms of? Uh, yeah, that's probably not yeah. now. Kinesthesia. Um, do you want to walk across the the field toward the big roller coaster? Um, I like to sneak across. Okay. I don't want to, yeah, because we all, that's we all remember, I'm only, I'm only a foot tall, so that's not that big. So I've got to be careful of predators. Yeah, yeah. Average uh, bulk is going to get you. It's also uh, getting on, it's like noon now, and we'll say, well, it's pretty overcast, um, but it is the height of the day when a lot of critters are going to hide from, from the beasts, and the beasts are at their sort of strongest, typically, uh, a lot of the larger predators. Time. So... I've got a quick question, just tactical. 
Would it be worth maybe having a tactical nap at this point? We could sleep maybe through the maybe midday sun. Siesta. Yeah, it's up to you. Do you feel like um, you pretty much confirmed that Declan went to the dragon's lair? Um, so it is, it's a question of whether you think this is sort of time sensitive information to act on. This has been gone a while. If it's dead, it's dead. Yeah. I mean, if we did a max. If we waited now, we then would have a lower. We have a higher chance of getting there intact because, yeah, if we go now, we're going to probably get. Yeah, but wasn't there a higher. thing about them being. something being bad at dusk? Which, like, we're not. We're not fast as a group. So we might end up facing something worse at a worse time. Uh, like yeah, because I mean, the dragon's not going to be in this field, but the dragon might be something we encounter uh, in opportune time. Essentially, at the, the height of day, um, beasts are more powerful. Um, but yes, it's less likely to encounter stuff. And then at dusk and night, it's it'll be more likely to just run into random critters again. But they'll they'll be less likely to be sort of dangerous. Beasts oh, okay, never mind. In terms then. of the random checks, uh, it's more narratively also if you wanted to like. You know, if you normally wouldn't go out at noon because it's too dangerous and you'd wait under the cover of darkness or just when it's not as hot. Um, we're going to say it's very muggy. Okay, actually, I've got a question. Is there like a food cart nearby? Or from the carousel? Is there somewhere like a halfway point between uh, like, a, like a food stop? Yeah, did, uh, what, do, what do we think? Did someone have an idea for one of the smaller maybe, rides? You know, grab some lunch on the way there? <laughs> go for a hot dog. <clears throat> you want a food place, yeah? I was thinking like a small, like, uh, oh yeah, like Flower said, um, a hot dog stand. Yeah, maybe it's a hot dog stand that's a smaller version of the hot dog gondola. So instead of this really big tower with the two hot dogs, it's um, it's like, you know, yeah, just a normal stall like that um, that, that yeah. served hot dogs. It's a hot dog stand, but because it's, you know, because we are in this amusement park, it's going to have a cowboy hat, ten gun and cow hat on. Sure, uh, yeah. it should be called yeah. McWeenies. Yeah. <laughs> yes there we go that, that's the segment that i'm taking i'm sitting that that's my segment <laughs> great do you want to do well then let's cut to uh the commercial for mcweenies so when, at its height what was this commercial running on tv what would you've seen okay so um it's it's going to be the drawing of the curtains like in the theater and you're going to have in just cartoon writing mcweenies the best weenies around <laughs> Um, and it's just going to be a picture of this perfect you know, hot dog and bun and it's going to be mustard and then the, um, the ketchup as well and we're going to see it's going to cut to just a dog an actual dog eating the hot dog and going rough it tastes great oh can it be a weenie dog Dash might be. <laughs> yeah 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 um, of course. And, it, and then it's going to cut and go no dogs were, were, were made in making the products <laughs> made <laughs> made <laughs> Two dogs Gen- in the background. Genetically line. engineered hot dog, but it's just an overheated wiener dog. <laughs> <laughs> oh. That's great. Uh, so that cuts. So, you know, now there's McQueenie's, is, is also a, a canonical odd product. <laughs> Thank you for checking out episode one of Blister Critters. Episode two coming up next. 